My name is Simon and this is how to build a racing car. In the background of this video you will see some of the preparation that I've been doing between the last round and the one coming up in a week's time. In this video though I'd like to go over what is by far the most common question that I receive, which is, will you release the design of this car? It's something that I've had in the back of my mind since fairly early in the project and I've never really felt like I had a good answer. There are a few problems I've had with the idea of selling the designs. The biggest being that I'd find it a shame to lock them away behind a charge that would make it inaccessible to others like myself who may not have a huge amount of money to throw at things like this. Another challenge I've had is that the drawings that I used to build the car wouldn't really be able to be used by someone else to build their own. I had the advantage of having the complete picture in my head of how everything went together, and of having the 3D model to refer to when I needed to. There were also a few little mistakes here and there that I had to correct on the fly. An example of this would be the left and right hand chassis member cutting profiles being reversed. So for me to release the design I'd essentially have to redo the drawings for the entire car, with the knowledge that I now have having built it, in order to have them be of a standard that I'd be happy to release. This will be a long and slow process. I've come up with an idea however that I'm hoping will work for everyone. I've set up a Patreon page that will allow people to directly contribute to this channel and the task of completing a set of fabrication drawings for the car. This will allow people to make a monthly contribution of whatever value they think what I'm doing is worth to them, which will help me to support this channel, keep racing and to finish public release of the designs for my car. I'll begin work on them when certain milestones are met and release them to my Patreon subscribers so that they can have access to them as they come out. At some point down the road I'll release them publicly, most likely once all of the drawings are complete. Ultimately what I'm hoping is that this car will form a base for others to work from. While it's been designed for the Australian Formula V rule, someone from say the UK, India, America or wherever might be able to make some small modifications to the design to make it legal there and then release those drawings as well. It should open up the possibility for others to learn and improve on my design or to build their own car where right now it's not really an option for them because they don't have anything to work from. And for me, getting Patreons on board provides me with feedback that people actually want me to complete this project and allows them to contribute directly to the work. Even if you're not interested in the design, you might want to contribute anyway as some thanks for the work that I've put into these videos as well. It's really up to you. To get the ball rolling, I'll be starting with the release of the bodywork plug drawings. These would allow you to build the plug from which the bodywork moulds would be made. I've set a milestone of 5 Patreons for this first set and will add milestones as each are met. So if you want me to complete the entire design, share this with people you know who may be interested and they can join as well. Anyway, I'm hoping this is something that people can benefit from in the future. In the meantime, I've been working hard on preparing the car for the next round which will be back at Wakefield Park at the start of April. What you've been watching is me removing the front H-beam which was bent prior to its installation in the car. Another Formula V manufacturer, Jaser, helped me out there using their press and oxy torch to heat it and straighten the tubes, which should hopefully improve the front of the car a little bit. Also gave the car a good clean, painted some bits and pieces that had been bare metal and replaced the exhaust wrapping that I had destroyed in my off-track excursion last time we were at Wakefield. I also built a wheel alignment testing jig which simply holds two string lines parallel from the front of the car to the rear, which I can use to measure the car's wheel alignment. As the final part of the car's preparation I'll be taking it to CGR Performance this Saturday to have the engine tested on their dyno, which should be really interesting. That's it for now anyway, let me know what your thoughts are and feedback, and I'll see you on the next one.